People tell me that I'm bad at my job, so I thought that I'd check out how the professionals do it. These are professional reviews from verified critics for the Powerpuff Girls movie, released 20 years ago. Let's start here. Scott Nash. Funny, lighthearted with something for all ages. 2.5 out of 4. Rotten rating. Uh, let's look a little bit deeper on this one. That That's, that's curious. Uh, let's look at what Eric has to say. The Powerpuff Girls movie is nothing more than a drawn-out episode of the television show. It is nothing more and nothing less. If you like the show, you will like the movie. Scott wrote that the show has a cult adult following. I have never heard of that. I have never heard any adult ever refer to the Powerpuff Girls, except if it involved their children watching it. Boy, how the times have changed. The Powerpuff Girls are feminist superhero propaganda aimed at it. Okay, maybe how the times haven't changed. Feminists have always pushed the notion that women can do anything that ev men can. So here are superhero girls that regularly beat up a male monkey. O okay. Th they have female villains too, you know. Professor Utopian, their male guardian, fills the feminine role here as the girl's father-mother figure. What is, what is this, Xenoclash? He is submissive to the dominating, stronger female... Okay, if you say so, Eric. This movie should have been cut to fit into a half hour. That way, it could have been a regular episode of the TV series, and I would not have had to watch and review it. Uh, Alright, Eric. Uh, let, let's, let's take a look at someone else before my head explodes. Uh, Rich, Klein. Sure, there's plenty of wacky energy, but if you look even a little closely, there's nothing else at all. Uh, once again, let's take a look at some, uh, deeper examination. And to be honest, it's far too violent. Sure, the filmmakers try to assure us that no one actually gets hurt, but frequent images of damaged skyscrapers raining down debris on the panic city dwellers who are screaming and running for cover is just disturbing in today's political climate. This is, this is going to be hell, I can, I can tell. It feels like a crass and juvenile attempt to be hip and cool, juxtaposing wide-eyed cuteness with video game destruction, South Park style, as if. This just in, South Park is cute. Sure, there's plenty of wacky energy, but if you look even a little closely, there's nothing else at all. Uh, okay, dick. Uh, let's see if, uh, let, let, let's check someone else. This one's a positive review. Urban Cinephile Critics. The Powerpuff Girls eschews the double entendre sophistication of the Simpsons Animaniacs for pure hot pink eye candy effect and the high camp flippancy. I, I've written books and I know about what five of those words actually mean. The target audience of this film is about seven years old, by the way. Uh, I can't see the full review on most of these because they've been lost to time. As you can see, this was written in 2002. Uh, let's look at somebody else. Maybe another positive review here. All in all, the animation is what cracked my urge to despise this squeaky cartoon. Michael Clausen. West Valley View, 4 out of 5. The twist in the superhero formula is that the girls are so little and cute and resourceful. And the animation goes a long way towards making their cuteness funny rather than cloying. It's a madcap mix of retro space age, think the Jetsons, and the too adorable sensibility and irony of Hello Kitty. The sensibility and irony of Hello Kitty. If you say so, Bob Grimm, Las Vegas Mercury. One of the more irritating cartoons that you will see this or any year. Oh boy, Bob. Bobby, let me tell you, friend. You ain't gonna like the future if you think that the Powerpuff Girls movie is, uh, one of the more irritating cartoons that you will see. Oh, God. Everyone, pray for Bob. He, he's gonna have a hard time in the next 20 years. Richard Roper. This is one freaky and annoying little film. Uh, okay, dude. Mark Dutch. Douche sit. Mark reviews the movies. Watching the Powerpuff Girls movie, my mind kept returning to one anecdote for comparison. The cartoon in Japan that gave people seizures. Uh, okay, dude, if, if you say so. Danny Minton. If there's a better excuse for the overuse of the drug Ritalin, I don't want to see it. Sorry, I paused there. My, my brain is starting to explode. Once again, I have to point out that these are verified actual critic reviews on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, let's look at some more positive ones, I guess. David Poland, a hot button. Mojo Jojo says, Origin movies bore me. Films that speak to the beginnings of superheroism cause sleep. Powerpuffs are more interesting when they are fighting bad guys, not being created. So this film made my lids heavy. Positive review. That, that's not, that's not how Mojo Jojo speaks. What do you have to say more specifically? 
I am a fan of the Powerpuff Girls. I find this series delightfully rangy. We must have lost half the dictionary since 2002, I swear to God. That's how you be a professional critic. You use big words to confuse people. One villain, him, is an... Uh, this video is going to get me pulled. Uh, one villain, him, is an ambisexual villain with heart-shaped claws for hands and a voice that gets more or female depending on him's mood. You know, I'm not even, even going to comment that. We're, we're moving on. What else he's got to say? Or Lucky Rabbit King, the serial ad creation that can never get any serial because it's for the youth and loses his mind becoming a violent criminal in the process. How, how do you how do you misinterpret the Tricks Rabbit episode of the show that badly? That that's not what happens. Uh, sorry, Mojo Jojo took over the review for a minute there. Yes, I checked. These are professional reviews and legitimate publications. When it comes to big screen adaptations of the television series, even the current lackluster Scooby Doo is more satisfying than the Powerpuff Girls movie. Damn! Wow. Hear that, everyone? The Powerpuff Girls movie is worse than the live-action Scooby-Doo film. Damn! What saves the Powerpuff Girls movie from being the worst animated feature since 1998's The Rugrats movie are two bright spots. The, uh, Rugrats movie being the worst animated feature. Maybe my memory's foggy on that one, too. Then again, at this point, I, I assume I have no idea about either of these movies. They could be entirely in Portuguese for all I know now. Mike Clark, USA Today. That, that's one of the biggest publications out there. The X Potion, ladies and gentlemen, the X Potion gives the quickly named Blossom Bubbles and Buttercup supernatural powers that include extraordinary strength and laser beam eyes, uh, which unfortunately don't enable them to discern flimsy screenplays. The X Potion. The X Potion. Joe Balteke, Sacramento Bee. This little film is so slovenly done, so primitive in its technique, that it can't really be called animation. I take it this guy's not going to be a fan of 12 Ounce Mouse when it comes out. Brian Webster from The Apollo Guide. The days of Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers are long gone. Now it's payback. This, this doesn't sound like a review or even the logline for a review. This sounds like a trailer for another much better movie. The days of Sesame Street and Mr. Rogers are long gone. Now it's payback time for America's Toddlers. Forget the Powerpuff Girls movie. I would watch that movie. I want to see that movie. Mirko Parlevet on ComingSoon.net. Bring your dr Dramamine because you're going to need it. I I I'm going to need a lot of drugs. God, people say the, the internet killed criticism. No, criticism killed criticism. My God, what, what the hell? Uh, there's a few more of these. Let's, let's keep going. Let's Joe Blow. Joe Blow's Movie Network. This film's not going to change your life, but it's a fun, silly, over-the-top time of the movies. And I am definitely not going to read the rest of this. Wow, that, that line is... That line is going to age... Uh, poorly. Uh, Joe Blow, be careful out there. People are going to gonna pick up on that shit. Carrie Ricky, the Philadelphia Inquirer. Rotten. Half enjoyable goof, half an uncomfortable panorama of urban terrorism that just doesn't sit well after September 11th. Uh, I, I swear to you, I, I, I swear on anything, that I did not plan this out. I have proof that I did not plan this out. I am not capable of planning something out this good. That is just not something I am capable of doing. Uh, but, oh, okay, Carrie, Ricky, you know, part of me is starting to think that these, uh, these uh, review bombers uh, might have a decent point. Uh, so let's put all the professional critics aside and let's take a look at some audience reviews. Maybe they will tell us exactly how good or how bad the Powerpuff Girls movie is because I am genuinely curious now as to what kind of movie I am or am not going to be watching here. All right, let's start with Urania S. Five stars. Kid, I'm playing a girly game. Urania, that's fine. Kid, cause I'm not usually girly. Urania, you can be girly. Kid, usually I shove that girly part deep into my stomach. Urania, what? You don't have to hide being girly. Listen, girls rule the earth. Kid, pulls funny confused face. Really? Urania, 
First, there was Mother Nature, and Mother Nature was chaotic and a funnel of creation. And Father Time came along after her and was like, Mother, let me try to organize you in a way that our children can live with you. Kid, okay? Urania, Father Time never meant for you to hide yourself. Kid, okay, backing away slowly. We were talking about the Powerpuff Girls movie, right? At, at some point, we were talking about the Powerpuff Girls movie. What's next? Jackie H. OMG, I loved it. I know it isn't the best graphics and storyline, but I am a big fan of the show, and this explains so much I love this movie. Big fan of the graphics. The Powerpuff Girls movie is definitely one of the best exclusives on the PS2. Caitlin M. As a kid, I liked it, but now it ruins the series with an oddly depressing bleak backstory of the show's best character, Mojo Jojo. Pretty sure the same backstory was actually in the show. Oh, oh, interesting. This uh, review was made after the 2016 series. Uh, but the movie, no, no, the movie is the thing that ruined the franchise. Okay. Stephanie B. This is an awesome movie with your favorite Cartoon Network characters in the big screen ever. Holy shit, Courage and Samurai Jack are in this film? I didn't know about that. The Powerpuff Girls was awesome Cartoon Network and Super Heroes too. It's you guys like superhero films with cartoon characters. You gonna love the Powerpuff Girls so much. Diego M. 74 minutes? That is just not enough. Cartoon Network has done its best in history. This is the best I've ever seen of Cartoon Network, even in cartoons. Just savor the 74 minutes. David G. Craig McCracken is a gifted cartoon creator, and the film will please fans of the cartoon. But as an audience member, this was way too short to be a film. This was way too short to be a film. Three out of five stars. Sam F. Christopher Nolan's Batman, but with cute little girls for superheroes. You know what? I, I don't care. Somebody make that movie. Fucking get on it right now. Bren A. Me and Rick used to watch this show all the time. Rick used to watch this show? Oh, damn, now I gotta see it. Stanley C. It plays like an extended episode, and the plot illegally plagiarized Planet of the Apes films, opposing the true and important message of the movies. Uh, don't tell Stan here that, uh, Ape Escape also illegally plagiarizes the Planet of the Apes films. Also, it was flat and simple, most heavily relying upon a very small character cast. Small character. okay. Got it. To make a good movie, you can't have it be too short, and you need to not have a very small cast. Got it. The internet is teaching me well. Meridia B. Sadly, bad marketing ruined the film, but it's still lots of fun to see these pint-sized women fight crime without X-Men powers. So, the movie doesn't have the Powerpuff Girls have the powers? We're, we're seeing small women fight crime without powers. Okay, sure. Yes, that is what the Powerpuff Girls movie is about. Plus, the audience reviews give it absolutely no justice here. Uh, yeah, considering the previous guy told me that it was a lot like, uh, The Dark Knight, uh, but I, I guess it's not a superhero film at all. Who would have thunk it? Michael E., a super reviewer. All right, this dictates some quality. Let let's see what Mike's got to say here. Though most people would think of the Powerpuff Girls as a girl show, it really wasn't, and by far, it's one of the best cartoons on Cartoon Network. You don't have to be a kid to watch it, but here's my argument with the critics of Rotten Tomatoes. You give the Powerpuff Girls movie a 65%, but you give the Pokemon movie 14%! What is wrong with you?! 4 out of 5 stars. Okay, that, that settles that. Connie C. Very sad in my opinion. 3.5 out of 5. Barry N. Fun film explains the origin of these superheroes. 2.5 out of 5. Once again, thank you for your contributions, Barry. Zack Snyder. Not a bad movie, but only something that would appeal to kids. If I was younger, I would rate it higher. Ezra Sage. Extremely mean-spirited, but I was a fan of the show, and it stays true to that show. I give the Powerpuff Girls movie 2 stars. 1.5 star out of 5. Daniel T uber ownage of a movie surefire way to satisfy any fans even without the date there you could tell that this was written in 2008 brett k being a fan of gendy tartakovsky and the cartoons he is well known for this is a great movie to an already impressive series you guys want to tell brett or should i nah he'll fig he probably has figured it out by now jess i haven't seen it just put it on my list it's one out of ten Nikolai E. Spare me your righteous indignation. 3.5 stars out of 5. 
Jonathan C. Superpowered girls created when Chemical Professor makes a delicious stew of sugar and spice, but spills chemicals into it. Thus, Powerpuff Girls were born. The girls learn to use their powers to help save the city from Mojo Jojo. After destroying it, behind exorcised from the community, believing a monkey's lies, and finally finding redemption and their true calling. Uh, yes, uh, my memory's coming back to me. I remember when the Powerpuff Girls were exorcised from Townsville, uh, because they were demons after all. Sarah T. Why did I see it in theater? I, I guess I liked Bubbles' octopus doll way too much. Darn. Antonio D. Charlie Angels, the animated series, I keep saying this again and again, people. Hello? Doesn't anyone notice this? The whole premise for this show would just be another unoriginal piece of crap that Cartoon Network turned it out, were it not for the fact that they are just so goddamn cute. They're all adorable. I just took the DVD out afterwards and pinched it around where I thought the cheeks would be for like half an hour. Then I ate it. Tony, I, th I think you got a future in this career, buddy. If you're wondering... Yes, I've had to take out so many takes where I just could not stop laughing. <laughs> Private user, I think I've actually seen this. Three out of five stars. Simon L., one of the greatest superhero movies ever made. Anyone who laughs at that statement deserves to be savagely beaten, stabbed repeatedly, dragged out into the street, and shot. It's that good. Damn. Okay, so the Powerpuff Girls movie is worse than the Scooby-Doo live-action movie. That, we already established that. But it's also better than Avengers Endgame. And the, the Nolan trilogy of uh, Batman. So, on the tier, it's Avengers Endgame at the bottom. Then the Powerpuff Girls movie. Then the live-action Scooby-Doo film. The more I look into how to be a film critic, the less I think I understand cinema in general. The character development puts every Superman movie to shame. And the actions are more fun, too. A masterpiece. Okay. Private user... As good an animated film as the USA has put out. Worth a hundred Shreks. May cause epileptic seizures, though. Okay, uh... Okay, let, let me see if I can get this straight. The Powerpuff Girls movie is worth 100 Shreks. And, and keep in mind, this guy has to be serious about this because this review was made in 2007. That was before Shrek became a meme. He seriously means this. The Powerpuff Girls movie is not only better than Avengers Endgame, it's also worth 100 Shreks... But at the same time, it may cause seizures, so that's probably why it's not as good as the live-action Scooby-Doo film. Here at A. Good film! Can't remember what happens in it, though. Three out of five stars. <clears throat> Tanisha W. It was one of the best movies that I have ever seen. Besides Cheetah Girls 2. And the original. Okay, that is all that I can stomach. I, I'm, my brain is going to explode. Uh, but since we're at the end here, let's review. Okay. So... The Powerpuff Girls, who were created by the chemical professor, Professor Utopia, who wanted to make a stew of sugar and spice before he accidentally put in some X-Potion, is, uh, better than Avengers Endgame, and the Dark Knight Trilogy, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It's also worth 100 tracks. However, it's not as good as Cheetah Girls 1 or 2, and it's definitely not as good as the live-action Scooby-Doo film. Uh, this video was a mistake. I'm going to bed now.